are now joined by Bob Smith, a retired uh, fire department chief, now with the Oakland County Sheriff's Department. Um, and you said you're a pilot. I didn't know you were a pilot. Yes, sir. I've been, well, I can't fly anymore because of some surgeries I've had, but uh, I flew quite a few years. So. Wow. Where did you fly? Yeah. Where did you fly? Well, in Vietnam, I flew helicopters mm -hmm. and then just uh, single engine planes around here and that. But I used to take people up all over and we'd go over Lake Orion all the time. And uh, mm -hmm. But uh, you were talking about the 25 year anniversary of the high school. One yeah. of the original uh, trainers there, Mary Lenigan, she actually got to fly with the Blue Angels. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they wow. when they do those trains and stuff like yeah. that. So it was, uh, I just wanted to throw that in there That's that there's cool. opportunities to, for anybody to go up if they try, so. Did you hear um, the Maverick movie, the Top Gun Maverick movie, mm -hmm. which is a huge success right now. Uh, the guy who did the stunt flying with the actors in the plane is a Lake Orion graduate, Lake mm -hmm. Orion native. Mm -hmm. I think one of the females are too, and I'm not sure. That's fantastic. But I read somewhere where I thought one of the female pilots was a from yeah. this area too. I'd sure like to get them in the studio to talk about their experience. That'd yeah. be amazing. Yeah, but what we have be. Bob in the studio for today, we have another anniversary coming up in a couple of weeks, the anniversary of 9-11, uh, now known as Patriot Day. And uh, Lake Orion goes all out to remember those that we lost on Patriot Day. Uh, so Bob, what is planned at the Veterans Memorial this year? This year we're going to hold it at noon on the 11th. Um, and uh, pretty much it's a remembrance. I, I'd like to call it a remembrance. 21 years ago this happened. And uh, anybody that's, uh, I guess, above the age of 26 should have some thought about it and know about it, but there's a lot of young people around. And what I've done this year is I'm going to have some of the top officials from the area here, the police chief, Lake Orion, the uh, fire chief, and the uh, lieutenant from the substation give us a little insight of what they went through when it first happened and what their thoughts were and stuff like that. So, Do you have a keynote speaker plan? That's, that's, I'm going to have each of them just enter, okay. enter into that. And um, I, was, uh, I thought about a keynote speaker, but at the same time, I, again, people are, uh, the young people that come up there, I want them to know what people thought about because even myself, it's still, you know, I still think about it and, and uh, what went on. And uh, the thing is, is it didn't, it didn't end that day. Uh, I was just looking, doing some research and stuff like that and almost doubled the number of people and first responders have passed away since from uh, issues from the 9-11 and that. So it's not something that just happened that day, as yeah. tragic as it was, it's still continuing on today, so. Yeah, usually this time of the year is when you start to see a lot of the documentaries show up on yeah. television. And f for me personally, it's it's hard to relive it. It's kind of painful to see that happen all over again. Um, but every year I learn something new, maybe see some new video that I hadn't seen before. Um, talk about the importance of, um, even though people might say, I don't want to relive it, talk about the importance of making sure that people don't forget it. Well, I like the, I like the, let people understand that this wasn't an act of war. This was some, this was some terrorist act that um, affected 2,900 people from 70 different countries for no reason other than to go to work that day. That would be, that would be like uh, a group of people here going to work and the terrorists just deciding that they're going to attack us for no reason whatsoever. There was none. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I don't want to get into a lot of what's going on now, but in Ukraine and stuff, you know, the Russians think they have their reasons for being there and everything. Everybody thinks they have their reasons. Nobody had a reason for, for that day. Yeah. And uh, it could happen again. And, it, and I still say they won that day anyway, because we're still so cautious of what, what we do and what we say and what we, you know, experience every day and everything. So even if they never did it again, they basically put us on edge from sure. a country that was just, you know, we had our internal problems and stuff like that, but we did not, um, uh, we did not allow anybody from the outside to interfere with us and everything, and that happened that day. Um, the thing that I'd like to bring up to everybody is what happened after where 
total strangers was embracing each other, helping each other, and you know, I'd like to see that again today because yeah. we're, we're getting a little crazy right now. So that's the reason I'm very passionate about this is something happened bad that day and I want people to realize that it could happen again if we don't start embracing each other and taking care of each other. Yeah, everyone was a patriot in the days after 9-11 and you know, I remember sitting in my car at a light car pulls up alongside of me, you look over at the person next to you, he nods, I nod back, people were hanging flags, and, and that lasted for a little while, and then it kind of went away, and I, I don't know why it went away, and you're right, I would love to embrace that you know, where every everyone is a neighbor and a friend, and um, we every, all Everybody, Joe, was together. an American first, yeah. you know. Put everything else aside, they were American first. And I, I can't believe the number of people put flags out on their, not necessarily right, but I didn't care. They were hung, you know, <laughs> and, and they, <laughs> and they uh, but that's why, I, that's why we try to convey this every year is to keep people, keep it fresh in everybody's mind that we need to uh, come together and protect each other mm -hmm. and keep the outside forces out. Kim, I'll ask you the same thing, but Bob, I want to ask you, where were you that morning on 9-11? I was sitting in an auditorium at the Kellogg Center in Michigan State University. We were getting ready to start our, our yearly fall inspectors class. At, uh, and a lot of us were just sitting in the auditorium looking through paperwork, what we were going to be talking or seeing over the week and everything. And this guy, I'll, I'll take it to my deathbed. The guy come in, he says, some dumb fool just flew into the uh, Twin Towers. And we're all sitting there, is it that uh, foggy over there or whatever? Yeah. Because I don't know if you remember or not, but a B-17 flew into the Empire State Building many yeah. years ago, but it was a foggy, rainy day. Yeah. And so we we really didn't grasp it at that point, you yeah. know. It's I thought, before I saw the video, I thought it was a Cessna. Yeah. I thought it was a two-seater or right. something. We, nobody really knew what it was until, you know, so we kind of just sloughed it off. And then all of a sudden, two or three people come running at the same time. Another plane hit the other tower, and then we all jumped up and we went to the TV to see what was going on, you know. But, no, I, that'll, that'll stay with me for, for the rest of my life because, I, you know, we're just... Again, part of the fire department, you know, we're gonna learn about how to protect people in their buildings, fire inspections wise and stuff like that, but not uh, not terrorists and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And yeah, totally unprepared for that. Yeah. And, oh, no, I was just gonna say one, one last thing is the rest of the day, everybody stood there or sat in their seats or whatever with blank stares on their oh, face. Sure. They, yeah. they had, we couldn't even discuss it with each other because we had no idea what to do. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. comprehend. What True. was your memories of that day? So I had only, my, my oldest was at, we just dropped her off at school, uh, and I was at home, funny enough, trying to make reservations for Disney because we were going on a trip. And it was dial-up at the time, right? Um, and it kept getting cut off. The phone kept ringing, and I was mm. like, "What?" I was in the basement at, at my desk, and I, I kept thinking, "Who's trying to call me?" Because I'm trying to make these, you know, reservations. And it was my mom, and she said, "You need to turn the television on." So I went upstairs, and I turned the television on, and I watched um, the aftermath of the first one. And then while I was standing there, the second one wow. hit. And um, so, as you guys know, I'm, I'm. My husband is, you know, Navy. He was so, we were not together at the time, but he lived in Hawaii at the time. Mm. And so we stood there and watched it for a little bit, and I thought, oh my gosh, it's whatever time in Hawaii he would still be sleeping. He wouldn't be watching this. Um, so I called him, uh, and I said, you need, to, you need to wake up. And he said, what's going on? And I said, you just need to turn the television on. He turned the TV on, and he got really quiet, and then he said, I have to go. Mm. And then I didn't hear from him for a very long time wow. because he went, you know, directly overseas. Um, but I was concerned, you know, it was like, do I need to go pick up my child from school? What, you know, what do I, like, it was those kinds of things. Like, are we all, like, is this going to happen everywhere else? Is this going to happen in other cities? I don't know. Um, and then we, um, 
you know, just went about the rest of the day, like you said, and then I think, you know, I, I was at a store or something. Maybe I think I was at a Blockbuster. I don't remember. The president had come on to do, you know, to to address the country, and we all stood there in the store, like in the Blockbuster, just standing there, like mm. all together, just crying and and listening to him, which. You know, I really appreciated his leadership in that moment. You know, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't say en enough about how, at least our personal family, we felt, you know, um, we felt we had a good, strong president who yeah. was going to take care of us at that moment. But um, the one other thing um, that that was interesting was that we were on our way back home from a trip, and we stopped in Pennsylvania um, at the the flight 90, 93, I believe, right, um, the memorial there mm -hmm. to see that. Um, uh, it, 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 I, I can't even like it's hard to talk about what you you know but yeah. you're sitting there and and they have this beautiful um, monument and it's got the names of people engraved in it but it's like a, a ghost engraving you can't it's not colored you have to kind of turn your your head to see it and stuff the people um, hmm. who passed away there but and there's a big you know boulder in the middle of the field and stuff so right. it's something that you know in our house we we go to the you know the the ceremony all the time, obviously. Well, he has to. <laughs> well, he has to. He does. Um, but you know, for me, one of the meaningful things was watching my kids when they were much younger touch a piece of the twin tower. So yeah, uh, that was really meaningful. Anyway, wow. Whew. Yeah, Woo! yeah. <laughs> it's still well, there. I uh, I usually start my day a little bit later, so I, I usually sleep in during the week, and so I was sound asleep when the first plane hit. Um, my sister tried calling me. I slept through her uh, call. She left a voicemail, which mm -hmm. I slept through. And then a few minutes later, phone rings again. It woke me up. And as I'm walking toward the phone, the answer machine kicked in. And my sister's just screaming into the mm. voicemail. So I picked it up as she was leaving the message. I said, what's going on? She's like, plane hit the Twin Towers. And again, I thought it was a Cessna two-seater. I didn't really think much about it. Went over to the TV, turned it on. I'm like, that's a jumbo jet. That's yeah. a passenger jet. And like you said, I, I, I couldn't comprehend what I was seeing, and I was seeing the replay of the second plane and everything, and I, I should have gone into work, but I just sat there on the couch, numb, never went into work. Phone rang all day, talking to friends and family, and one of the vivid memories I have was seeing the tower br live broadcast, news anchor was talking, I don't remember which channel it was, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and I saw the big antenna on the top of the one, one of the towers like start to move, and I, Again, I couldn't understand what I was seeing, and then mm -hmm. I saw it come down, and the news anchor was still talking, like he wasn't looking at a monitor, right. and he was just chatting as I saw it start to come down, and I'm, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm describing it, and I'm like, the, the building is going down, and, and I, I couldn't believe it, and me and my friend were on the phone like, are you seeing this? And never thought that at the end of the day, both those towers would be gone. I, I just never no. expected. The Empire Strikes Back survived that impact yeah. and still standing today. But somehow, both of those towers came down and just have those vivid memories yeah. of that. So, yeah. you know, we've had we've had some catastrophes in the in the U.S. where it's brought everybody to their yeah. to just, mm -hmm. just stand there and stare. I don't know if you remember or not, but the Challenger when it when it exploded. Yeah. The, the guy was still giving uh, directions and everything like he didn't even, like it didn't even happen. Right. And the same thing happened with this. You know, the guy is, the, the newscaster sitting there talking and it's like, do you not realize that this, What's is, going on? This, yeah. is, this is gone, you know, so. Yeah. I've been to the New York Memorial since. I know people, I have friends that were at Ground Zero in, in the days that followed. Uh, the memorial's pretty moving. I, I I couldn't bring myself to go inside the exhibit. We went to the fountains where the Twin Towers used to stand and stuff, but I just wasn't mentally ready to go into the the museum right. that they have there. I'll, I'm sure I'll go eventually, but um, but I never saw the Twin Towers in person prior to 9/11, so I've never visited. Did you no. ever visit the Twin Towers? No, I had I. I would seen them far off, you know, coming into New York City, you could see them and stuff, but I never yeah. was right there. Yeah. And as a side note, we went on the fifth anniversary of after, and my wife and I, and we were walking around, and, that's, and it was Labor Day when they were announcing what they planned on doing for a memorial and everything, so there was quite a few people there. 
And I mentioned to my wife at that time, and she, I says, do you look at these people around here? They're still walking around like they didn't even still hadn't comprehended it right. five years later you know yeah. it's like the, the workers were doing their work and stuff like that but nobody was having a good time or joking or anything yeah, yeah. everybody had a, feeling a stare on their face and that yeah. and what really shocked me was the Deutsche Bank still had not been touched hmm. they still had the, the the screening up on the side of it and that five years later really? yeah so uh. So September 11th falls on a Sunday this year. You said the ceremony begins at noon? Begins at noon at uh, the, the Veterans, Veterans Memorial. Memorial, and that's right. at M24 and Heights Road. We'll be there with our cameras to record it, as we always do, and uh, I'm sure we will see you there. Well, I appreciate you giving me this few minutes to, to bring it out to the people. I hope to see a good crowd there. So. Yeah, so come on out on Sunday, September 11th, and let's honor our first responders who are rushing in as everyone else is rushing out and uh, there's a lot of them there police fire paramedics everything are there at the ceremony so you can thank them in person so uh, hopefully we'll see you on september 11th uh, at noon okay. at the veterans memorial thank you uh, thanks for coming out